everyone, and welcome to another episode of Career Chat. I am Shannon Crooks, your host. I am a librarian three at the Hillcrest Heights branch of the Prince George's County Memorial Library System. Each and every week on Wednesdays, we explore a new career where we talk with professionals who are working in a particular career field. However, today we're going to switch things up just a little bit and talk to someone who is representing a professional career resource. Actually, we have two guests today, and they are from Good Karma, which is a career readiness organization, and they're going to let us know a little bit about their organization so that if you're interested, you can possibly sign up to participate. So welcome today, Alyssa Green and Chantel Gaskin. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having us. Hi. Hey here. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about Good Karma and how long it's been in existence. Okay, um, I'll start. Uh, Good Karma, again, I'm Melissa. Um, Good Karma is a newer organization. This is our first year. Um, it is, as Shannon said, a career readiness organization geared towards young girls um, in from marginalized communities specifically. Uh, we are geared towards girls ages 12 through 19. Um, and we're currently accepting mentee applications. Our first, um, our first year of the program will commence this January, this coming January. So we are accepting applications and um, bringing on mentees. Uh, what we do is try to match young ladies uh, with professionals, professional women who are in careers that they believe they're interested in. So for instance, I'm a paralegal. If someone is interested in the legal field, then um, they would be matched with me as their mentor. And we affectionately call our mentors gurus. Mm, awesome. um, so what are some services you provide to the community? So for our young girls, we do provide some opportunities for things like resume writing, or even like Alyssa was saying, connecting them to people that are interested in their field. So like she said, for example, I'm a social worker. If there's a young lady that wants to be a social worker, I will be able to assist her in the process, whether that's like choosing classes for college or even like, what is it like? What is a day in the life of a social worker? Because our field is so broad. Um, even just interviewing skills, the basics of how do you act in an interview? how do you behave how do you present yourself so those are things that we're going to be doing in our actual cohort but we also do find ways to give back to our community um also so we do drives we do for example right now we're doing one um for thanksgiving um that will be we're giving out uh bags to the homeless so we do a lot to give back to our community and our girls hmm. awesome program so you. you said you serve girls 12 through 19 Yes. So do they have to have any particular documents or anything when they sign up? Nope. Of course, with um, young ladies, we definitely, uh, if you're under the age 18, we do want your parents' permission. But other than that, there's, uh, there are no specific requirements. Again, this is our first year, so we wanted to keep it open. But also, again, we wanted to specifically try to reach out to young ladies from marginalized communities. So we didn't want to put, you know, very strict uh, requirements on that. We want to be able to give back to who wants to, you know, get, have this as a resource. Wow. So I have your website pulled up here. So if I was to want to apply for your program, where would I go? You just click that big pink button up there at the top. That's a mentee application and it will take you um, to a page that gives you a bit more information about the cohort. The cohort is when, um, there we go, yep. Okay. So here we are, um, GK's School of Professional Development. It's run as a 10 week cohort. And throughout the cohort, we'll go over interview tips, like Chantel says, resume building, interview skills. We'll discuss the um, difference between business casual dress and business um, professional attire. Uh, and we have fun interactive uh, programs planned for the ladies. This year, of course, we're dealing with COVID. So um, our program will be offered virtually, completely virtual. So all of our programs will be available online so that our mentees can just log in via Zoom like we were doing and, and get the, the information that will help propel them in their careers. The idea is that we can encourage them to get 
jobs or internships at least uh, before going off to college so that it gives them an edge up. Mm. Is there a cost for young people to join the program? No, no there's no cost. Wow. Do you have to be a PG <laughs> County resident? You do not, no. No, ma'am. <laughs> That's awesome. So where are you located in PG County? We, yeah, we are in the PG County area. I live in Lanham. Yeah, and I live in high school, practically in DC. <laughs> um, we, but your, our girls do not have to be in the area. We have some of our gurus that also live in Virginia. We have mm-hmm. some in Baltimore. We have some in DC. Um, and because it's virtual, that gives them an opportunity to kind of meet with mentees that don't have to be neighbors to them so nope they don't have to be right here they can be further away they can be in any county um even of course over state lines because it's virtual okay awesome and they I, i'm assuming they have to have a computer or a device where they can access internet to participate Correct. Okay. that's the only requirement mm-hmm. okay all right. And again, COVID forced us to do that. <laughs> that, was the plan. that was definitely not our original plan. The original plan was to have events in person, to meet, you know, monthly and do fun things together. But COVID kind of threw a little wrench in there. But like you said, we also do events. Um, we do monthly events with our gurus, which are our mentors. Mm-hmm. And then the goal would be next year to start doing some monthly events with our mentees as well to kind of social dis- distancing, of course, has to be appropriate. We want them to see each other and do kind of like some community building um, networking events as well. So what if someone wanted to be a mentor through your program? What would they need to do? So we don't currently have the mentor application on our website, but we do have this contact button down at the um, at the bottom there in the right hand corner that those messages come directly to us. So if you are interested in being a mentor, you could always reach out to us via that chat button. Mm -hmm. We are always accepting gurus. Uh, Of course, as we said, in January, we'll be taking taking on mentees to begin the cohort. So uh, you might not necessarily be matched with a mentee this semester, um, but we will certainly take on gurus. Um, It will be an ongoing process. Yes. What's What's the application deadline? The application deadline for the mentee application is November 15th. Okay. So get them in. (laughs) Yes, get them in, young people. This sounds like an exceptional program. Thank you. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of our young people can benefit from being a part of this program. So thank you so much for joining me to share this information. Um, Also, with your age range, I know a lot of our high school students are trying to get volunteer hours for school. Right. Would would this count as volunteer hours for them participating in this program? Certainly, yeah, we'd be able to provide, um, depending on their school's requirements, of course. Um, I know different schools have different requirements, but um, if it, for instance, in, in my high school, we just needed a letter stating that we've done, you know, such and such hours with this um, organization. And, and if you're, if that is the case, then this would certainly apply. Yeah. Especially because we plan to do events and community events so they can participate in that, get hours for that. Um, so yes, definitely. Awesome. So young people, if you're listening, please sign up. I know a lot of you have reached out to us at the library looking for volunteer opportunities for school. Good Karma is a great place to start. You can visit them at their website at goodkarmabiz.com to sign up. So hopefully our viewers will take us up on that offer. Yes. So what's the typical length of the program? The um, program is 10 weeks, so um, we'll meet bi-weekly. Um, one week, we will do a full meeting. Um, again, it's virtual, but we'll do our full meeting, which, which will be our lessons. So we have our 10-week cohort just completely planned out with, again, those things that we mentioned earlier that we'll go over throughout the 10 weeks. And so on the off weeks, we'll ask the gurus to uh, check in with their mentees, see where they, where they are, um, since starting the program where they are, especially for those girls who are a little bit older, who are maybe looking towards college, if they need help with scholarships, um, if they need help with applying for jobs, of course, that's 
right up our alley, but anything they need, they can ask their guru for essentially. So um, we're, we're going to be checking in with them on the off weeks um, within that 10 week process. Is there any opportunities for young people to shadow in some of the careers they're interested in, in your program? Yes, definitely. Um, especially because a lot of our gurus are very open to getting a mentee. Um, a lot of our gurus also are entrepreneurs, so women that have their own businesses. So yes, I definitely think it would be opportunities for them to shadow, whether virtually or in person, maybe, depending on the world, um, you know, the opportunity to shadow. So the answer is definitely yes depending on the career field. And that's actually, I think, our goal. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's awesome, because a lot of young people, they say they want to be in a particular career field, but they have no idea what it's like <laughs> to be in that career field. So having an opportunity to work alongside someone, very helpful. It's that. actually funny you say that, because that's where the idea kind of stems from for me. Just, I had an opportunity much like this one, in the um, area that I was raised in. I'm, I'm from the Richmond, Virginia area. Um, and so I had an opportunity very similar to this, like I said, and there's plenty of people who were in my legal systems administration class that were like, oh no, <laughs> I'm not interested in being in the legal field. And myself, I um, had an internship in a law firm since I was 16 because of that. And I realized, oh, I really do like this. Um, so you're right, that is completely true that you could shadow someone and realize that this isn't for you, or you could realize, wow, this is something that I really love to do. You know, how do I get started? And that's what we want to do. Just give them the opportunity to get a better understanding of what it is that they're interested in. That's awesome. So in the summertime, do you offer any additional programs, you know, other than the 10 week one? So right now, our summer is um, not planned. We don't have a summer program planned. We are going to be checking in with uh, the mentees that we take on in January. The program will um, officially end in April. Um, and then so we'll just check in with them over the summer. Just, you know, this is our first year to see how things went and what we might need to do differently. Um, and then going forward, maybe we will have some summer opportunities, but not, not just yet. Okay. So what are some of the perks or benefits for young people participating in the program? I would say one of the biggest perks is the opportunity to get to get a first hand of, on what they're interested in, right? So internships are great, but sometimes you don't have the opportunity to actually meet one-on-one -on -one with the person you're interning with, because let's be honest, they're busy, right? Like this is their job. Mm -hmm. But with your guru, that's your mentor, that's your person. So it's an opportunity for you to work directly with them and ask them the question that you can't ask maybe you know at your internship or at your job and then from there to build also uh, like a relationship you know with that person so eventually you may be able to lean on them and say okay i'm still looking for a job or you know i need an internship or i need more hours for school you know whatever it may be but now you've built strong relationships among another woman so that's the goal for us too is to build strong relationships among women um, within our community. This sounds like a great way for young people to network too, if they've never, you know, networked with someone or they may not know someone that could be a mentor, they could get involved in this program, get a mentor, get some networking experience, and hopefully it can open up other opportunities for them. Yes. So young people, please take advantage of this opportunity. Um, it sounds like a wonderful program to be involved with. Thank so, you. Will any of the young people earn any type of certifications or credentials after participating in the program? Um, not directly from our organization, but depending on what you're interested in. For instance, as a paralegal, no, we wouldn't be able to offer that um, if you work under me. However, um, depending on what you're doing and, and the, um, the work you end up doing with your guru or with someone that we uh, can match you with, you could possibly, through the organization, no, that, to answer your question, no, not through the organization, but uh, again, the, the opportunities are kind of endless when you start to build a network of your own, so um, that possibility could arise just from the relationship you build with someone. Awesome, awesome. So what types of hands-on experience do participants get? 
So I would say the most hands-on is going to be, for example, they'll be getting the opportunity to make their own resumes. We also do mock interviews. So they have the, you know, the opportunity to sit with a guru that is not their guru and actually do an interview so that when they go into the world, they feel more comfortable, they feel confident, and they're able to participate well and exceed in these interviews. Um, and like I said, also the resumes will be helping them to tailor their resumes to whatever job or internship that they're looking for to make sure that they're definitely going to, you know, get those positions. Um, like we said, COVID kind of messed some things up for us, um, but it's okay. You know, it has taught us to be creative and it's definitely taught us to think outside the box and we made it work. Um, even like vision board planning is something that we will be doing with our girls to make sure that they know what they want and how to get there. So planning in general. So yes, a couple, they'll be able to kind of experience a couple of things. Do you have any ongoing partnerships with any organizations for internships or employment for young people? We have, um, we don't have any um, ongoing partnerships with organizations specifically. We do have partnerships with a lot of our gurus partnerships. Um, so uh, our gurus are, there's a, there's a good variety of us. We have social workers, paralegals, accountants, um, people in HR, we have a, you know, a, a good variety of people. And so our network is pretty broad um, and that is ex that's who we will reach out to for the internships and jobs that we are encouraging. Mm -hmm. That's great. So, you know, I always ask my guests this question, how has COVID impacted their organization? So you've told us a little bit about what's going on, but you know, how has it changed things since it's happened? I think, that's, yeah, that's a funny question because like when we started this, we kind of started um, with the idea like the world is going to be open we'll get to have like bi-weekly meetings and we'll like go out together and we'll do all these things and then COVID hit and we're like, oh, oh, okay, that's, <laughs> that's not what's going to happen. Um, so we've definitely had to be more creative on how do we keep our girls engaged and how do we keep right. the group engaged but still make sure we're all being safe because that's the ultimate goal is for us to be safe so having to take everything from meeting in person and then turning it to virtual was a little challenging in the beginning but I think one thing is we have each other so we've been able to support but also our gurus have been very helpful in helping us to kind of create um, a virtual form of our cohort um but it's it was a challenge at first but i think we've definitely been able to lay it out in a way that it still works they still get the information they need it's interactive they still get to have some fun and they get to meet each other but we're being careful yeah i think to piggyback of what chantel said we uh, tested that out with our gurus so for the past few months for i believe um we have been training our gurus so we've done a uh, training training each month and everything's been virtual and um the only time we actually had the in-person um connection or got to see each other in person again socially distancing but um the only time we saw each other in person was at these events that are are listed on our website so um all of our learning all of our lessons and our teaching that we've done as a group has been virtual so we have tested out this method and it certainly is effective as well but it's just not given that same person-to-person -person interaction that we're used to of course mm -hmm. so all of your participants now they're going to have to have internet connection and a yeah. device so that they can participate okay. yeah and so well, young people, good is they don't have to leave the house <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so young people the library can provide a hot Definitely. spot called a kajit and you can check those out at your local library in prince george's county just make sure you contact them to see if they have some available you can use your library card and check those out you will need your parent to use their library card because you're unfortunately under the age if you're a young person but you can always check out a kajit from us if you need internet access Absolutely. I want to make sure I say that. Um, next question is, does a participant, um, they don't have to be a resident, right? I think you answered that earlier. Do yes. A PG County resident? They do not. No. Okay. Awesome. All right. So would this program benefit someone who is thinking of going to college or possibly connecting with a trade school? 
this is actually the program for you if you are thinking of going to college or even if you're not thinking of going to college if trade school is your thing if you're interested in being an entrepreneur like I said we have a very broad um, range of um, professionals and careers um, represented in our organization by our guru so if you are interested in going to college join us there's plenty of college graduates but we do have a few that didn't go to college and are you know successful and have their own stories so definitely if you're interested in trade school if you're interested in just trying to make it without going to school then we are certainly a great organization to take a chance on awesome so do you have any success stories that you can share with us about any participants that successfully completed your program so since we're so new, we, I wouldn't say we have any success stories um, officially with the karma, but when it comes to mentorship, we do. Okay. So I have actually been a mentor for five years, four years now. Mm -hmm. um, and I have a young lady that I have been working with um, for a while now. And it started out kind of being a little hard. I met her when she was in high school and the process was a little difficult in the beginning as far as getting her on track for school getting her trying to figure out kind of what she was wanted to do because she was she wasn't sure um, but I will say now she is in college to be a nurse she's wow. doing very very well um, she has managed to keep her grades up so that's the thing about mentorship it's a process mm -hmm. and it takes time you have to build trust and that's the thing about good karma we're going to help our girls to build that trust with their guru mm. so it's it's very exciting to see all the things that you know we've been working on, it's all coming together now. So, okay, let's say I'm a young person. I go through your program for 10 weeks. I really love my guru. I want to continue my relationship with that person. Does that typically happen or is that something that can be facilitated? That is definitely something that we want to encourage. I think um, that's important, especially um, speaking on who we are, I'm, I'm a black woman. And if you as a black young lady are interested in being a paralegal, but you want to know, you know, what ch face challenges you may face because of that, or, you know, you want to know how to navigate certain things. Or again, if you're interested in college and you want to know whether or not you should attend an HBCU or a PWI, different, you know, just life questions that you might have that you might want a mentor for, that's exactly what we want you to, who you, we'd want you to go to your guru with those questions. And so if you guys have fostered a relationship, like Chantel said, she's had a, men a mentee that she's worked with for years now because it is a process. And um, if you feel a connection with your guru, we would certainly encourage you that, that you continue that relationship um, as long as it's a, an appropriate relationship. And, and our gurus are all, again, we trained for this. So we're all trained in um, understanding the needs of young ladies and yeah, again, would encourage that you continue that relationship if, if you do feel that connection. Mm. So when a young person meets with their guru, do they just only meet with their guru or do you have group activities where all the young ladies and the you know gurus meet together? How does that work? So um, we, again, will have our lessons. So eight, out of the 10 weeks, um, the 10 weeks are the lessons. So there'll be 10 weeks of lessons that are group lessons. Um, and on the off weeks, since we'll be meeting bi-weekly, then your guru will reach out to you individually. Okay. But um, for instance, on the first week, we have a lesson plan that we'll meet with everybody for, and then so on and so forth. So for each week of the cohort. Mm. And then the gurus and the young ladies, they can have additional meetings if they choose. Right so okay course, you know if you have a, if you want to send out a resume because you just saw a job pop up and you have a question really quick you can reach out to your guru you can reach out to Chantel or I but you know that's definitely the the um, resource that we want to provide that you have answers to your questions on hand basically and then do you follow up with the young ladies and the gurus throughout the process to see how things are going oh yes for sure for sure so we'll definitely be checking in to make sure that one of their they're matched well and that they're able to kind of get the support that they need both ways um and the our guru you know, they can always come to us and we're also creating it creating a way that our young ladies will also be able to come to Alyssa or me if they need anything but yes we'll definitely be checking in on them on a regular basis mm, that is awesome 
I'm pretty sure our young ladies would love to be a part of this program. We would love to have them. Yes. Um, <laughs> so do you follow up with your participants at the end of the 10 weeks to see how they're doing? Or maybe they transition to college or into a job. Do you still connect with them in that way? Yes, we definitely want to connect with them and we will follow up. We want to make sure that we know if it worked, you know, if you feel like you got what you needed out of it. Maybe if you're on the younger end of that spectrum, you feel like you should do it another semester. You feel like maybe you want a little bit more information on how to build your resume or what you should be looking for for your career. Or maybe you just want some more time to get a better understanding of, you know, another career that you might be interested in. So yeah, we'll definitely follow up to make sure that you feel like you got what you needed out of the organization and that you feel like you've been guided to where you want to be. Hmm. So what are some additional resources or anything else you want to share about your program with the audience? I would say, um, this is a great opportunity for our girls to eventually become gurus. And I think that's our ultimate goal, right? For them to go through the program, them to learn, for us to build a network of young ladies that then become our gurus. Like that is like the ultimate goal, you know, that they're coming back to our program and saying, okay, I did this four years ago. I learned so much. And now I want to pour into another young lady and for it to continue to be a way of them paying back, you know, paying it forward, I'm sorry, um, to other young ladies. So I think our ultimate goal is to eventually, it just be a, a network of gurus all over America, all over the world um, that our young ladies can fall back on and say, okay, I have a question. Let me call Alyssa who lives in Baltimore or let me call Chantel who lives in Canada, you know, and we have built that network and we can depend on each other. So I think that's our ultimate goal eventually. Mm, that's awesome. Awesome, awesome. So again, tell us, what the age range is, how people can sign up, and what the deadline is before we end this segment. Okay, so the age range we're looking for is 12 through 19 years old. The application can be found on our website, goodkarmabiz.com, and we are accepting applications now. Those applications close on November 15th. Um, you can also follow us on Instagram if you're there um, and Facebook if you're there. So if this program airs, because we usually air it pretty, you know, late after we've already recorded it, when is okay. the next round of applications for young ladies? Okay, if the program air, if after the program airs, you see it, you're interested, please, again, um, hit us up on the chat button. Um, let us know, uh, depending on how many mentees we have. Hopefully, we'll still be able to take you. If not, then um, we will certainly keep you um, your information so that you can be a part of the next round. Uh, the next uh, cohort dates will come out directly following our, our first, our, the ending of our first cohort. So you'd be looking for the new dates in April. But um, again, if you, if you see this and you're interested, please go ahead and apply. Um, we'll keep the application open just so that we, we don't, we don't, it, it's kind of hard to cut off when you feel so dear to something <laughs> to just cut it off <laughs> so yeah. hard and strong. So if you are interested, please uh, hit us up, ch chat us, or if the application is still there, go ahead and apply. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. And then the last question is for me. It's what are some resources the library offers people who are on the journey towards their workforce development or their career? You can go to our website at pgcmls.info, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can look at our online library. And then from there, you can go to the jobs and career section. We have BrainFuse and the Learning Express Library, which allows you to do career assessments, search for jobs, create and update resumes and cover letters. And then there's also a live job coach on the job now section. There's resources designed to help veterans navigate the Department of Veterans Affairs. There's uh, information for high school students preparing for college or brushing up on any job skills. There's step-by-step -step guidance to discovering your interests, choosing a career, preparing a resume, and finding schools and programs, and also searching job openings. Practice tests are also available for college entrance exams, employment, and citizenship. 
tutorials are also there for basic skills such as math, reading, and writing. If you are a high school student, middle or elementary school student, you can use your student ID card and that is your library card number to access any of the resources on our website. And any PG County resident can use their library card to access these resources as well. Again, thank you so much, Chantel and Alyssa. I really enjoyed hearing about Good Karma. I hope you get some of our viewers to sign up for your program. I think young people will really benefit from being in this program. So thank you. So thank you, much. Shannon. Thank you for having us. Yes. And viewers, we'll see you again next time as we explore a new and exciting career or an organization. I hope you'll join us every Wednesday at 3 p.m. Again, thank you and stay safe. See you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.